As you continue to deal with high gas prices, we're taking a closer look at the truths and misconceptions surrounding fuel conservation. And of course, we're going to the experts mm -hmm. to answer these questions. Can overinflated tires help you go the extra mile and save on gas? Madison Peersman has the answer. Today we're talking over inflation, not at the gas pump, although it hurts there too, but at the air pump. You check, you see your car's PSI sitting at a comfy 35. Well, you decide you're going to put in 37 because someone told you that if your car wheels are overinflated, maybe your gas mileage will go a little farther. Well, I checked in with AAA's Holly Dalvey to get the truth. Is this fact or fiction? That is fiction. You do not want to overinflate your tires. When you do that, you risk a lot of safety. They're more susceptible to blowout. You're going to feel every pothole more. Every bit of road debris is more dangerous for your tires if they're overinflated. Mm -hmm. And what if they're right at the right amount or a little bit underinflated? Is it better or worse or should you be right at that sweet spot? You really want to target that sweet spot. When your tires get underinflated, that really can harm your gas mileage. So you just really need to be extra careful because, you know, you want to stretch that gas mileage, mm -hmm. but you don't want to put your life at risk to do it. Right, right. <laughs> so. Or do more damage to your car and cost more money than yeah. a right. gallon Right, that's of gas, a problem. Which, <laughs> it's hard to do these days. If anything, costs more than a gallon of gas, right? Uh, but <laughs> yeah. especially with the weather that we're having, I mean, mm -hmm. we're going to have that spike in heat here coming up. Jeremy yep. was talking about it. Uh, that can play a factor in your car's air pressure or your car tire's air pressure, rather. Yeah. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind if you do decide to put air into your tires soon. And I know you've gone through so many different topics, so Madison, many. but there may be some folks out there who have more questions. And so can they send them to you? What are those yes, details there? Yes, please do. I'm here to debunk and figure it out for you. So uh, madison.pyramid at wavy.com. You can also reach out to me on social media. I'll respond to you and we can figure it out together. Yeah, that's great. And see what is a myth and what is a fact. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, because great. you'd be surprised. I see some questions, I'm like, do people actually think that? But people are desperate, and I get it, yeah. and some of it does sound pretty legit. So and if it could help all of us, then we want to know. Yeah. Right, absolutely, I'll save all of us some time. <laughs> I'll continue feeling the facts tomorrow morning, and I'll be talking about if the quality of <clears> gas <throat> varies from station to station, and if so, how can you tell? I'll have that story tomorrow morning right here on Wavy News 10 on Fox 43 Today.